knee that is painful as a result of osteoarthritis can severely affect your ability to lead a full, active life. The use of artificial knee replacement, also called knee arthroplasty, to treat osteoarthritis of the knee is becoming more and more common as the population of the world begins to age. Over the last 25 years, major advancements in knee replacement have greatly improved the outcome of the surgical procedure. Over the next few minutes, I will be describing the operation used to replace an arthritic knee joint. But first, let's look at the artificial knee itself. The artificial knee is referred to as a prosthesis. A prosthesis is a mechanical device that is designed to replace a biological part of the body. Each knee prosthesis is made of three main parts. The femoral component replaces the end of the thigh bone or femur. The femoral component is made of metal. The femoral component is shaped so that it matches the femoral condyles that are a part of your natural knee joint. The tibial component replaces the top surface of the tibia or the lower leg bone. The tibial component most commonly consists of a metal tray that firmly holds a plastic bearing surface that will glide against or articulate against the metal femoral condyles of the femoral component. The plastic used is so tough and slick that you could ice skate on a sheet of it without much damage to the material. The patellar component replaces the back surface of the patella or kneecap. The patellar component is made of plastic as well. The patella glides in a groove on the front of the knee that is called the patellofemoral groove. The femoral component is shaped so that it also has this groove. The plastic patellar component glides against the metal of the femoral component inside this groove. The operation to replace an arthritic knee joint begins with an incision down the front of the knee. Once this incision is made, the patella is dislocated and inverted so that the inside of the knee joint is visible to the surgeon and there is enough room for the surgeon to work inside the knee. The soft tissues are held back out of the way using metal retractors. Once the knee joint is visible, the surgeon must remove the arthritic joint surfaces of the knee joint, including the femoral condyles, the tibial surface, and the patellar surface. The surgeon uses special cutting guides that are attached to the bone and guide a bone saw that removes the joint surface and shapes the bone so that the artificial joint component fits properly. Once each joint surface has been removed, each of the components is temporarily placed in position and the knee is assessed for stability and mobility. The surgeon will test the new knee to ensure that you have the best range of motion possible and the knee is not too loose or too tight. Achieving the right balance in these two areas is critical to both the function of your new knee and how long it will last. Once the surgeon is satisfied that the correct size of the components has been chosen, and that the balance has been optimized, the permanent components are inserted into position. In some cases, a special cement is used to attach the metal components to the bone. This cement is placed between the bone and the metal as the component is pressed into place. Excess cement squeezes out the side and is removed. The cement hardens quickly, usually in less than 10 minutes. The incision is then closed using several layers of sutures. A bandage is applied to the incision and you are returned to the recovery room. The hospital stay after the procedure varies between one to four days in the hospital. You'll be on your way home when you can demonstrate a safe ability to get in and out of bed, walk up to 75 feet with your crutches or walker, and go up and down stairs safely. Patients who still need extra care may be sent to a rehabilitation unit until they are safe to go home. Full recovery from an artificial knee replacement usually takes about three months. After that, you should be able to enjoy the painless mobility that an artificial knee replacement provides.